This purpose designed machine is used to make the blocks. In here, plaster and chopped fiberglass are mixed with water. The material is poured into molds which are engineered precisely to make sure that each block is exactly the same size. As the plaster sets, the machine forms this tongue on top of the blocks. When the plaster has completely set, the blocks are ejected from the mold. Tongues and grooves are automatically produced during manufacture. Then the blocks are removed and stacked ready to be dried. Gypsum blocks are modular units, 666 by 500 by 100 millimeters. Joining surfaces are tongued and grooved to give strength, accuracy and flushness of the finished wall. Two sizes of blocks are available. These are stored on pallets ready to be delivered to the site. A fully loaded pallet weighs just over one ton easily handled by most site equipment. Watch how these blocks are actually constructed to make a wall. Here at Leaderville College of TAFE in Western Australia, the floor is prepared for the first block. The floor surface should be level. Otherwise, Use a mix of BS 1000 compound with clean sand at 1 to 2. Where damp proof or sound insulation stripping is used, these materials are placed on the BS1000 compound and wherever else it is needed. Once it is in place, the first coarse block should be checked with a plumb bob and spirit level. Openings for doors or windows should be formed at the time of constructing the wall and wire or metal straps fitted to the frame at every course.
The manufacturers also recommend using a metal strap at every course to fix to an existing wall. All the half blocks and short modules should be sawn before being bonded into place. <laughs> 